Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Ben, and this is the third time that I've tried to record this video. So, third time's a charm. Usually when I record them more than once, that makes them quite a bit better than the other videos, uh, just because I know what I'm doing. So, in this video I'm going to be making a top-down shooter game, and it is also going to have a simple lighting engine in it, and it's not going to be a series, it's just a quick example of how you might go about starting this. So, the first thing you'll notice is that I have a, just a circle for the player, and I have this gun that is facing to the right um, for, for the sprite of the gun, nothing fancy, and I also have this, uh, I accidentally clicked on that one, I also have this giant uh, gradient that's black in the middle and slowly goes out to white. That's what we're going to use for lighting. It's 640 by 480, which is going to be the size of the view that I'm using. So that should make sense. And then I've got this tiled background just to help you see the effect of the lighting better. So the first thing we're going to do is create a room. And we're going to give this room a background. And now we're going to create the player objects. Object player. And we're going to create the gun object. Object gun. And we're going to create the, the, the light object. Object light. You can just give it that light, sprite light. Awesome. Now on the player object, we're going to add some code really quickly. And this code is just going to say um, get input and move the player. Uh, let's do if keyboard. check VK right and then I'm just going to copy this four, five times on the fifth one I'm going to do a knot and on this one it's going to be VK up this one's going to be VK left this one's going to be VK down and then I'm going to copy VK up right here and make sure that these are uh, VK left, VK down. And inside of this, this just check, checks to make sure if we're not pressing the right key and we're not pressing the up key and we're not pressing the left key and we're not pressing the down key, we're gonna set a friction. So that's easy enough. Friction equals one else friction equals zero and inside of this movement right here we're going to do motion add uh, direction is zero speed is going to be one awesome and we're going to copy the motion add code into each of these like this but we'll just change the direction because zero is to the right so up is 90 degrees left is 180 degrees and down is 270 degrees and then it goes to 360 or zero which is the same thing in this system so the last thing we want to do is put a cap on our speed if speed is greater than or equal to well let's just do greater than if speed is greater than five speed equals five so we put a cap on our speed awesome we can move the player now Inside of our gun event, we're going to do a step event. Make sure it's an end step event, however. And all we're going to do is, well, two things actually. X equals, well, let's do this. Um, follow the player and point at the mouse. Okay, if instance exists, object. player um, x equals object player dot x y equals object player dot y 
And then outside of this, we're going to do image angle equals point direction x, y, mouse x, mouse y. So point direction, all this does is you give it two coordinates, right? You give it uh, one xy coordinate and then another xy coordinate pair and it returns a direction so we're gonna s between 0 and 360 so this uses magical trig in the background that we don't really need to know about and it assigns a, an angle to our image angle which is the angle that we've applied to the sprite of the gun so this will make it point to the mouse because we're saying what's our x and y position towards the mouse's x and the mouse's y position. So that's pretty simple. So let's put our player in the room now. And the gun. And let's save it. And press play. And make sure that what we have so far is working. So Top-down shooters, I would highly recommend doing them as one of your first projects because they're actually fairly simple, right? So you can see that is working and it's running kind of slow on my computer. I'm really not sure why, but it looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our light object in the room as well and I'm not actually going to do this with a view right now but what we what you would do is you would just draw this light object at the views x and y coordinate so but for now we're just going to draw at 0 0 so there's going to be a draw event in this view oh we need to give it a negative depth so negative 100 now inside this draw event that I already have we're going to draw the light so we're going to use a blend mode so do draw set blend mode and do bm subtract now do draw self awesome draw set blend mode bm normal okay so all this does is we switch to a subtraction blend mode which means everything that's black becomes see-through and everything that's white becomes black on the screen so you'll see when we when it shows the light um, how that's gonna work but essentially if we pull up the sprite this black area in the middle and this gray area is gonna be see-through and the white is gonna be black so it's gonna look like a lighting effect you wanna make sure that this object is at exactly zero zero in our room then we draw the sprite that we currently have assigned to the object using this blend mode and then after that we set the blend mode back to normal because we don't want our other sprites drawing with that blend mode so you'll notice that this is in front of everything else right now and it's at zero zero but if we run our game in fact uh... let's see yeah but when we run our game you'll notice uh, it's taking a while to load that that is some pretty cool lighting I don't know about you but I think this looks cool so this is a really good start on a top-down shooter game and if you uh, if you decide to pursue this, uh, tell me in the comments. I might actually do a second part to this video because I would like to show you some maybe basic enemies and shooting and stuff like that. So if that interests you, shoot me some comments. Make sure you like this video, and I'll make a second part. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your feedback. I'm still planning on doing the Pokemon type game. I've had other people talk about that. I really like the idea. I'm just making sure that I plan it out so that when you guys finish, you have a solid game engine. I don't want this one to end up like some of my other series uh, that don't really feel solid. They just feel kind of buggy. And So I've been doing some research to make sure this next series is, is a good one and that it's going to be beneficial for all of you. I, I don't regret my other series because I know that you all have learned a lot in them and I've learned a lot making them and that's what's important but I want to give you guys something better so I'll be working on that and expect that soon and I will talk to you guys later